Kimmer. We're at uh, RCW, a promotion I'm part of. Not the owner, but I guess a sponsor. And uh, tonight I brought Samurai Del Sol in to wrestle Andrew Hawks and one of my guys, Pete. And uh, I was hoping to be in Mexico right now. And there was an eight hour mechanical delay on the runway. And then it was a two hour delay before the plane actually went on. And it cost me my, uh, my only chance to get to Houston and connect my connector to Mexico City. Now I heard there's volcanic eruptions or volcanic ash in the air and that no other flights are getting into Mexico. I'm not sure I heard that for a second party yet, so that could, that's not fact out of my mouth. That's, a, that's something I heard, so I'm going to check that. But uh, these guys had already put together their match, and all the fans out there, this is for YouTube. I'm not trying to uh, fool you about the business. It's more about fooling you how... Uh, Teddy Hart's uh, once again doing the right thing in a business that I very, very seldom get the credit I deserve for uh, being a guy behind the scenes that always, always wants to make sure wrestling survives and that talent prevails more than anything. That's my shout out to anyone out there that loves wrestling. You guys hit the gym and keep fucking training and watching your tapes. And I'm a fan of anyone that tries to live their dream. My point being, I don't get to live my dream tonight. I get to be a referee in a match between three guys that potentially are gonna revolutionize a style that I think I made famous with Jack Evans a long time ago, and that was the uh, five people, 50 people, 50,000 people rule. Sabu, you were the guy that kind of taught me that rule. Rob Van Dam, I'm pretty sure you were in the small buildings with the small crowd still doing the crazy shit, and you made it all the way to the top. Shawn Michaels for always doing more and more and more. Guys like that. To me, it's my shout out to Ricochet Pock, A.R. Fox, Samurai Del Sol, who I got a hold of and brought in, another guy named Flip Kendricks. You guys look like the evolution of wrestling, the what I wanted to protect. Guys like CM Punk and American Dragon are on TV and they're ripping it up doing wrestling. It's kind of cool to see the elements of wrestling changing. New Japan just had the Super 8 tournament. I had to order that shit on my iPay-Per-View or whatever it took because I actually was that interested in watching wrestling because the guys in it were actually wrestlers. So tonight is going to be a match between some of the guys I think Canada, Hawks and Pete, have been uh, kind of like diamonds in the rough. I'm about to become that guy that went to the Yukon first and exposed the Yukon for having all those diamonds. And a bunch of people are rich because they were there before everyone else knew. It's kind of like setting a trend. I want to be the guy that sets the trend for the next group of guys out there that are just phenomenal. Like AJ Styles was and still is. Like Kurt Angle is and could be better if he was a little clever. And Kurt, this is to you. No disrespect, my friend, but I want a match because you were my first match when I was in the WWE way back then. And I'm not a ghost and I will come back. Mark my words, Ted Hart's got a promise and that's to keep wrestling alive, promote as much as I can and get in the ring and try to still be the king because Owen Hart said it best. It's enough is enough and it's time for a change. Professional wrestling needs to change and become more high spot orientated, guys. I said it once and I'll say it again. When two guys that might not like each other in the street got to get in the ring and get along and make something called magic happen. The same kind of magic hockey players, basketball players, golfers all get to live and eat and sleep and call themselves athletes. Wrestlers, we're stuck in some sort of enigma in a middle. We're not athletes and we're not actors. We get neither one of the perks of either one of the sports, but we have a pretty fine line if you want to sip the wine. And in between time, remember Ed Whalen's line, the Stampede Wrestling in Alberta was the best, and it spread like a pest all the way through Canada. And then it was the king. So it's my job to get Stu Hart's memory back on top, to, to create a, a legacy, the Hart legacy, and to keep it going, guys. Brett, thanks for the name. I won't let it go down in shame by sitting there and acting like by doing nothing, it's okay. Alberta needs you, and if they can't get you, they're gonna get second best, which is Ted Hart, until I prove to the rest, any heart that wears the crest and tries to be the best is the next. And the next guy is Brett, Andrew Hawks, and Pete, and Samurai Del Sol, because I'm about to be the uh, referee, Al, or is it an Earl, or uh, what's his name? Alan Hepner? Or Earl and, uh, Alan Hepner's my lawyer, sorry. And the guy that represented Davey Boy Smith in the lawsuit against Cody Light. Earl Hepner's the guy that fucked Brett, right? And I'm not gonna be doing any uh, fucking tonight. I'm gonna be doing some uh, reffing and maybe a running at the end of Metal wins that match. So guys, let's keep an eye out on this thing because I'm gonna be the king. It's my job to make sure wrestling prevails every time. And this is my cat, Mr. Money, the smartest cat in the world, guys. Hey, Teddy. Hi, guys. 
Mr. Money's gonna say hi to you guys.